family members of a man killed by a Hendersonville police officer say he will be missed by many. The police say that 46-year-old Adrian King was shot after he stabbed Sergeant Kenny Hips in the abdomen on Sunday. News 13's Megan Shearing is live from Mission Hospital. Megan Hips remains in the hospital tonight. He does, Arcel. His condition is improving, but he's expected to spend a few more days here. Now, I did talk with King's family today. They told me they are mourning his, uh, his loss, obviously, but they are praying that Hips makes a full recovery. What happened in the hallway of this apartment complex Sunday afternoon is being described as tragic. I've been here six and a half years, and this is the third officer involved shooting that I can recall. Sergeant Kenny Hips and Officer Jennifer Drake were dispatched there for a sexual assault call. During the response, Chief Herbert Blake says they encountered 46-year-old Adrian King. We don't like use of force situations, but this was a case where the officers had to use force and we have an officer injured because of that. Investigators say King stabbed Sergeant Hips below his bulletproof vest and that's when Officer Drake shot and killed him. King's apartment on 3rd Avenue was located right next door to this consignment shop. I talked to an employee off camera who tells me that she would see King walking his dog and that he was always friendly. King's family says he was a kind-hearted man who loved to draw. They released a statement to News 13 Monday saying, Our thoughts and prayers go out to the officer injured and the officer that had to make the tough decision. They are also praying for their families. We rally around our uh, folks anytime anything like this happens. Uh, we've had a lot of support from other agencies. They've called offering their help. Hendersonville police say both officers are handling the situation as best as they possibly can. This is definitely a good example of where training took over and uh, saved these officers' lives. The SBI is investigating the shooting. We did check with the Henderson County Clerk of Court today. They tell us that King does have a long criminal history. The most recent charges were filed uh, in 2013 against him for cyber stalking and making harassing phone calls. The charges were dismissed by a judge and he was sent to mediation. Reporting live from Mission Hospital tonight, Megan Cherry, News 13.